basic rhino tutorial number 18 is it 18 yes 18 we will look into the remaining surface creation tools and i don't have to say anything more let's start right away we will look into sweep of one rail sweep of two rails revolve draping height field from image uh, we will build a surface from grid from grid points and a loft from two curves uh, we're still in our we're still in our previous model i will whenever i can i will use these tools but at the moment i think it's better to just go through these remaining surface creation tools so we have that done and we can move on because there's a lot of stuff we we need to check out here fillet surface and stuff like that so what is a sweep basically is a sweep is uh, simply a curve any any curve and then a profile and the profile moves along and creates a surface we need a curve let's do this like this and i want to add a corner here so just to demonstrate so we have a static curve and then a corner and we, yeah it's combined uh, and then we create our profile and the profile um we can also draw i use the grid snap here if you look at if you look here i'll draw a simple profile using the grid snap function and then i just uh, rotate that 90 degrees and move this to my origin of of my my rail curve now we have this i can then select the rail and uh, then i select my sweep my profile and then done you have this tool you can do a lot of stuff a lot of things as you can imagine let's, let's stay here for a while i want to show you something else so if i do this again and then check my profile you have a you get this dialog so there's some stuff here you can uh, check uh, sometimes it's good to experiment a bit with these settings a uh, road light could be good if you want to keep always in the same angle sometimes it's just starting starting to rotate depending on your curve on your base rail curve is if this if this curve uh, is going up and down uh, maybe I sh then then your your profile also moves with this so it it, it moves with an angle in relation to that uh, curve at the moment it's simple because this is like a flat curve but it could be also 3d um, so for example if I cancel this and I move this up then here especially here then now this becomes a bit difficult for the computer to calculate so it doesn't know 100% what to do road like then keeps it always in the same angle so it keeps it this angle of the curve of the profile always in the same angle whereas if I use this one it, it starts to kind of um, move in relation to that height change of that curve and here it has a problem here it's yeah then you can of course try to play with it but here there's something wrong with the radii so that doesn't work so we can use this setting here there's also a problem but i'm wondering if i s now yeah you can also try to play here with the how the cross sections are distributed and yeah that seems to work that seems to work and yeah done so sweep number two that's that is very useful if you have two different profiles and you want to merge from one profile into the other that can be very simple it can be just uh like a line like one line as a profile but let's make it more interesting so for example you have something like this um that's not nice yeah for example like this and then we have we we can do this here it's it's kind of a bit of a, like a loft but at the same time it's also a bit like um this this one because i could have like a very simple another profile here but let's let's do it like this so first rail we use choose this one second rail automatically asks and then we select our profiles yeah it actually works quite good and then you can always add more so i could add more in between i force the shape a bit more exact um, into what i want so that's one way to use that and by the way you for this one you can also 
use different profiles. You don't need to just use one profile. It's it's like, I mean, what you can do here, for example, is um, we actually don't need this. You could even sometimes it's just easier to draw a line. Okay, so um, I want to have a coordinate system here, so I can directly draw the the, the profile into here. So for example, so for example, I have something like this, then I can select here and then the profile and it tries to fit the shape within here. So that's, that's what this, the, the one sweep doesn't do, but you can still have different. Uh, so for example, you could have like just a vertical line here that also works. So I choose the rail, then I choose my profiles and that will create this. So it goes from uh, from this profile into the just a straight line. Revolve. This is super simple. It's just um, so you need an axis, for example, like this, and then you can draw your uh, revolve. And here are two options: revolve or rail revolve. And we look at both into both. So now if I just add another line here, and I can create a coordinate system and draw my shape. And now I could, so let's go back this. Um, and then I just, it asked me for the curve to revolve and then and then the axis, uh, the axis I already drawn. And then the start angle zero, that means where does it start and where does it end? So zero would be where it is at the moment. And then I choose the end, let's create this shape, but, but I could have done something like this. Now the rail revolve, I'm not sure if I tried it, probably. Let's do this, let's make a star. We did a star before, I think we did the star. And we make something more nicer than this, than to this um, umbrella. So for that we, yeah, we choose this one, we create a, like a soft star, if you want to call it like this. And we can even um, fill it the curves here a bit. So fill it and we use the fillet function um, see i also have to look for it sometimes because there was a way to fill it everything at once okay it doesn't matter fillet 0.5 yeah that's better i know there was a way to do it like all at at once but at the same time i don't wanna i want to keep this inner ones uh, straight and then we need an axis this is our axis and then we have and then we can create uh, the shape of that umbrella like this I hope it's more clear it should be more clear okay now we do the same so we need um, select the profile the profile is this one then the rail curve and then the axis and we have our new umbrella looks doesn't look completely like umbrella but it doesn't matter copy copy this here and we scale it and put it onto the umbrella draping Draping, I'm not sure about this. It's it doesn't really work that nice. But yeah, I can show you that. So for example, we have some objects. So you do this. It's I don't know. It's see, it's it's weird. It's a bit weird. I mean, there might be things where you can use that, but I never use this. I never used it. Maybe because I just don't know how to how to do it. But that was actually wrong. Yeah, maybe that works better now. But but it's it's weird because it doesn't and it doesn't have any dialogue or something. But yeah, maybe there. I mean, maybe there are some some usage for that. I haven't found one. It's for me. It's too unpredictable. Anyway, this is uh, draping. If you 
if you used it and you used it like in a really cool way share with me because i i i, I don't know they also haven't developed it any any further yeah you can drape over the drape if you want no i mean the auto spacing okay maybe i could change that spacing 20. then it's just a bigger well, that maybe that that maybe does something okay height field from image that's pretty interesting we need to go we need to get an image a height field something like this anything black and white white means high black means low and if you know the actual distance it's perfect because then you can uh, use that to your advantage in rhino okay we can try all of these and then you draw your thing and it will just generate it will just um, assume a height with the test. A bit extreme. And let's try it again. And let's just go here lower. Yeah. But it's it's quite interesting. And you can of course try to make this more accurate. And let's make it a bit more yeah yeah hey yeah that's one way to use that wait let's try the other ones just to test it could be quite interesting to print I like this but maybe not as so extreme so let's do it again and I will go here on two yeah it still doesn't look right uh, if I mean if you look at the image then 100 is the maximum let's try 500 here but I, I don't think that works wait before we do that let's let's keep this here and let's, let's try the other options mesh with vertex as sample location okay that creates a mesh that's interesting that looked cooler to be honest let's do it again and then this time we use interplate surface for points and we go a bit lower again because it might be that might be better That looks better. Okay, so and then surface from grid points is not really that uh, spectacular. So we could have a grid, uh, very simple grid. Center. Look at points. And then if there are now, it's it's actually very sim simple, similar, you know. So for example, I have this, and then I choose my. It asks you actually where the points are. That's a bit annoying. Okay, so you can choose how many points you want in which direction. So five and four. First one of five, second one of five, it's like this. Oh, six, I have six. Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, you can remember for sure. So the first one is from grid points and what it does, it's basically um, tries to match the surface on the onto the curve onto the point and then there's a second option where we basically use uh, let's 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 just do it we'll move this here and the other one is through control points so it uses the points i'm choosing as control points and not as inter interpolated points numbers of points in a row four and five okay so one one of five one of five two of four and so on 
So we do the same thing again. And yeah, you can see it uses the points as control points. So here's the point is quite high and here it's, it uses it as a control point and here it actually went through the point. Anything else? Yeah, the, the loft through from two curves. This tool here, the developable loft from two curves. So that is a bit, bit of a um, tricky kind of thing, but um, yeah, we can show it like this. Maybe, no. So the problem is that if I just use the command here, it's actually, it doesn't do anything useful. Um, it's actually better to use that command and you can read it up in the help in the help uh, file so it's it's actually better to use it uh, through the command line with the type of hyphen in front of the command name uh, so you put a hyphen and then dev loft and then you select the two curves and then it makes much more sense because that now uh, gives you a way to to fit fit the curve but still something wrong because these are flipped so i will try to sort it out first or well, something different so let's try this Dev loft. now it worked and you can here now try to here you can actually show the the resulting surface as a preview that's good the density is changing the density of division points that's that's pretty clear and the ruling is i think it's trying to you can fix the angle but sometimes the angle is is difficult so that and you can do it locally you can actually change it locally it's pretty cool but i can i can understand why they would have, want to have something like this because some in some cases especially okay let's let's I show you a um, a reason why you want to be able to do that because sometimes if you have for example a road like this let's create an offset okay something like this and then you create a sweep of from of two rails sweep of two rails then draw your profile here and choose these and that and that creates this angled kind of lines here and that you might don't want this so that's why the tool of the this 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 one so let's try it again now now it makes a bit more sense because now I can here go here and add root first of all and let's try untwist what it does doesn't do much all right let's try add ruling that's it's pretty cool see what it does that that is actually pretty good now i understand this too uh, much better nice next time we will start with we go here there's a lot to cover how to fill its surface, extend surfaces, chamfer, variable radius fillets, that's pretty cool, um, and so on. Smash, we will smash stuff and rebuild and merge. And let's see how far we get. I think let's do one, one, one row for each video. See you.